Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Did I get the weapon that I wanted from him? I think I did. Uh, where'd it go? I got that shimmering st Oh, that, that must be for Oron there or something. Yeah, it's probably for Oron there. Uh, yeah, there it is, no encounters. So yeah, just to show you the proof there, we finally got that from the boss. Took me three tries, actually, including the one from the last episode. So, not bad, not bad. I I don't know uh, if I uh, if this happened or not, because I'm recording this live, but did I just kill... Oh, no, I don't want to go up there. Ugh. Did I just kill the boss but with poison? Because it seemed like he attacked Titus with that stone ability, and then... Uh died promptly after that. I mean, did, did the poison kill him or something? I don't know. But anyway, after killing the boss, use the Celestial Mirror here, and we can get the Onion Knight, the ultimate weapon for Lulu there. Although it's going to take a lot of concentration in order to fully unlock, because you got to dodge 200 consecutive lightning bolts, and I will do that, but not today. We'll save that for the post game. Not even really worth it either. Magic just really isn't that good in the post game, I'll be honest with you, viewers. But anyway, we want to go in here into the well, actual temple part of the well, of the temple. So yeah, this part's a little tricky to navigate, but well, nothing we can't handle. Uh, is there anything else around here? No, I don't think so. But yeah. You, so, here we are. Let's see what we can get for, for in this area. Now, in order to do this next part, you had to have uh, gotten the Destruction Sphere from all of the uh, temples throughout the game. Now, one of them is Baval, and you can uh, never miss that one. You, ha you basically have to get that in order to go through the temple anyway. So, don't worry about if you like, supposedly missed that, or whatever. But all the other five temples you can go back to. Now, uh, specifically regarding the Besaid and Makalania temples, uh, at this point in the game, well, I'll just tell you, it's not really a plot spoiler, but uh, there are Dark Aeons blocking them. Dark Aeons are new optional super bosses that are unique to the international and HD versions of the game. If you're playing the original P PS2 version of the game, then you don't really need to worry about that. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I went, I walked all the way back to Besaid after defeating the uh, Spheromorph boss, because otherwise you won't be able to even get into the town of Besaid to get the uh, Jack Sphere there, which, or Oron Sphere, whichever one it was. I think it was just a Jack Sphere, but whatever. So anyway, if you have gotten all the Destruction Spheres or treasures from the other temples, you can do this now. See, otherwise you're going to have to kill a couple Dark Aeons, and that can be real annoying. Well, not so much annoying, it just takes a long time to grind in order to kill them. So, huh, it looks like Anima. What is Anima doing here anyway? I don't know. Maybe she'll explain. Huh? Eh? how's it going? I don't want to become a faith. You are Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. Kind of getting a Lucretia son, vibe here. Do you not hate him? Yes. Well, we... It is alright. We kind of killed him. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. Well, yeah. Well, you're taking the news of your son's death but very the way. But I fault for letting him become what he was. Well, what were you supposed to do? You put him with Guado, he's going to get made fun of for being half he human. He's always alone. Half Guado, half man. You put him with human kids, they make fun of him for his I hair. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a faith. 
Oh. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. Nuts. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more. More power. Well, that's what all men with power want. And he found sin. Nuts. Wait a minute, what do you mean yes. he found sin? I mean, I guess he wanted to become the Come, next sin, Summer. but... I will bestow you with my power. You wouldn't be able to, like, control that sort of thing. The Dark Aeon. Anima. No. Destroy sin. And my son's obsession with it. No, that is not the Dark Aeon, Anima. But we'll get to that one soon enough, viewers. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. Uh, you didn't do anything to him. You just, you know, did the best you could, and, well, turned out all screwed up, so. Oh, well. But anyway, yeah, we got the seventh Aeon, Anima, there. Okay. No more treasures in there. Ah, hey, hey, all right. No pain, no gain, huh? But, all right, so that's everything we can do in uh, Baj Temple here. By the way, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you guys, uh, because I'm going to be doing a lot of monster capturing. Uh, I'm not going to do all of it now, or even most of it now, but I will be doing some of it, because some of it has some really good rewards that'll be really nice to, to get before the end of the game, even during the main storyline. I'm not going to get ten of everything, just, well, one of a lot of things, and maybe some more of some other things, but... Well, you'll see when I get there, but anyway, the thing I wanted to ask you guys is if you know the encounter rates for various areas, uh, one or another, uh, let me know, because I don't know, like, where to find a lot of these rare monsters. I mean, I have some tricks or some superstitions that I think allow me to get, capture certain monsters a lot easier, but a lot of them, I'm, but I don't have, like, any hard evidence behind them. So, if you know, if you got some info on that, let me know. Like, someone uh, gave me a map to the, uh, what is it, what, what's that area? The final sh Uh, the Sunken Cave, the Cavern of the Stolen Faith there, and uh, that was really helpful. But I don't know, like, the encounter tables or the encounter rates for one area or another. So anyway, uh, one thing we can do is... There's these passwords that you can find throughout Spira. Uh, they're initially... Uh, what is it? In Albed? And... I, well, it would take me too long to explain how... Oops, no. It would take me too long to explain exactly how you're supposed to solve these things. So I'll just tell you the passwords. But yeah, uh, basically, you find these Albed... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bed passwords throughout the world, and you gotta do something with them in, in order. Or you gotta solve, or yeah, solve some sort of password, or like the letters are all mixed up, or something or other like that. I don't know, but you don't need to do that. And I'm not gonna go bother going out of my way to actually figure all this stuff out. So I'm just gonna tell you the passwords here. So let's see, I think there's only three of them, if I recall correctly. And they unlock secret areas. Where you can get some treasure that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. So let's do this first. Okay, so before doing that, well, some people were saying, H.C. Bailey, if you talk to Oran a couple more times, well, you can get some more dialogue out of him. So let's do that. I uh, mentioned that in a video description a while ago. I was worried at the beginning, but you... But I, uh, well. I, I didn't mention it in the episode, so well, now I'm mentioning it now. If there's any NPCs you really want to me pass. to, uh, talk to, uh, during, at the end of the game here, let me know. Our stories will end together. Oh, yeah, yeah, if we defeat Sin... Hmm. Don't keep Jack waiting. He never was a patient man. <laughs> I must admit... Yeah, because if we defeat Sin, well, all the faith are done, and, well, that would mean Titus would be done. And, you know what, let me save right now so I don't lose that weapon I just got. But yeah, and then if we defeat Sin, well, Oran, well, his motivation for staying 
unsent would kind of be gone. He just, I don't know, he wants revenge or something? The final show... I hope you like hearing Sid saying that over and over again, because we're going to be uh, hearing that a lot. Okay, so anyway, uh, well, let's start with that one. Yeah, here we go! So yeah, there's some ruins around Besaid that you could kind of see, but you really didn't have access to. But now we do. So let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, do I have the No Encounters weapon on you? I don't think you have to have no encounters on an active party member for it to work. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Now, I know there's treasure around here. Haha, -ha, There it is. And here we get Victorious. It's a weapon for Riku. Uh, nothing really that good. Let's see. Okay, I think that's everything there. Let's get back to the airship then. How do we even get down here anyway? I mean, do we have... Well, we did have those cables that we took when we the were uh, going down to Bavel. I mean, they kind of got snapped, but... I don't know. Maybe when Sid went for repairs, they, uh... They got more of those cables. Yeah, Here we go! Maybe they just had them stacked up in uh, janitor's closet or supplies closet or whatever. I don't know. You know, from when this thing was made, like, what, a thousand years ago or something? Okay, let's see. We go over here. Haha, -ha, the Murasame for Oan there. Is there anything else here? No, no. But yeah, you can kind of see this uh, save sphere from below before. But, uh. So, anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is actually a pretty decent weapon for Oan there. So, just something to keep in mind there. Uh, let's see. Let's get back up to the airship. So yeah, you could have seen the save sphere way earlier in the game, and I, if I recall correctly, I think I pointed it out, but, well, we couldn't get there until now. The final show. So anyway, let's see, one more, one more. And then we've got a bunch of secret coordinates to check out, too. See so yeah. ya. Here we go! Just so you know, if you go to fight Sin, it's uh, not a no turning back point. You can still back out. Kind of like uh, Lavas in uh, Chrono Trigger there. And I'll go over that when it becomes pertinent. I will tell you where the no turning back point is, that is. Okay, let's see. Anything over here? Nope. I'm just making sure there's no treasures that I'm somehow unaware of. Yeah, the map up above? Yeah, pay no attention to that. It really doesn't mean much. Ooh, what's this? Let's check it out. Oh, hey, it must, must belong to Riku. Although, it seems kind of odd that they would give us two weapons for Riku, one of which being her ultimate weapon. The God Hand! Finger of God. But anyway, yeah, so we'll want to fully unlock that for Riku eventually, too. But, well, not today, not today. Well, it, I guess it appears that the no encounters weapon is working. I don't. I think we can actually encounter monsters down here. But we'll see. The final show. Okay, now let's unlock some more of those coordinates. To my knowledge, there's only six of them total. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, okay. So let's see. We want to go about thirteen. And let's see, somewhere around here. Ha ha! There we go. Now we could have already gone to uh, Bicanal Island, but this will take us well to a secret area that we couldn't otherwise Yeehaw! access. Ha! Here we go. And I think here we can also run into some enemies too. Uh, well, let's get that treasure there. Is that the only treasure? I thought there were two here. But anyway, here we get the Ascalon. Let's see, that's a weapon for Titus there. So, oh, double AP. Not terrible. And I forgot to look over that weapon for, uh... Wait, huh? We got that Victorious. Huh, maybe that's a weapon for Waka. Yeah, that's gotta be a weapon for Waka there. No? Okay, then who the heck does that weapon belong to? Now I'm curious. 
Oh, it's an armor for Riku. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, well, it's got those proof abilities there, so... Only... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need to save. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to do three more of these coordinates. Uh, the, the sixth one... Well, you know, I can actually show it. I'm just not going to go there. I say... And I don't know why Sid suddenly developed a lisp there. You got me on that one, viewers. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go to about, let's see, 40 or so. Somewhere around there. And let's see, go all the way down to about here. Haha! -ha! Ooh, what's that? Let's find out. See, I think that's like right next to Luca. Yeah, here we go! I think we might have seen that. For where do we get fuel for this thing anyway? Maybe it's solar powered. I don't know. Oh no, this is this is a different one. I'm thinking of something else. This is where we fought Sin, uh, Operation Miha. There is another one that's like right next to uh, Luca there that we kind of saw before, but we couldn't really do a whole lot with. But anyway, okay, so we got that Phantom Bangle that can go to Lulu if you so choose. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, eater abilities absorb elemental damage, while proof abilities just nullify it, essentially. You're basically just immune to it. The final show. Okay, let's see. Two down, two yeah. Let's see. This next one is a 31. About... Game. Okay, we got that. And let's see, way down there. Let's see. Ha ha! Oh, another one by Besaid? Oh. Yeah, here we go! See, I'm trying to remember this one just from my memory here. Ah. Well, there we are. Dragoon Lance for. Oops, Kamari there. Uh, yeah, I have to. Well, I don't have to, but. Go into this menu here. Oh, interesting. Nothing that I extraordinarily care about, but, well, it's there. I prefer to keep Kamari on his. Uh, magic lance there. The and one more. Showdown. Eventually, I would like to get, uh, dual cast or double cast, whatever it's called. For Yuna there, but I need another special sphere, and we're gonna find one in the near future anyway, so I'll worry about that when I get to it. But anyway, oh, Mihen Ruins, okay. Oh, no, I need to, uh. uh well, I guess I gotta, uh, listen to Sid's lisp again. The final show. Oh, well. Okay, let's check it out. Ah, okay, I think this is the one I was thinking of that looks like it's right next to go. Luca. Or you see it while you're in Luca, I think. Just kind of off in the... Or maybe that's at the, uh... No, that's at the, uh... What is it? I forget exactly. Um, let's see. Hmm, where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah, you gotta kind of look up from here, or at least that's how I did it, and we get the sonar for Riku. But yeah, no, this isn't Luca. This is the, uh, where was it? The Chocobo stall area, or the Rin shop there, but, well, initiative, well, not terrible, but not great. Okay, now one thing that I'm going to be doing next, I'll, I'll be doing this off screen, is that I'll be going to Besaid to capture some of the monsters the there. Final showdown. Uh, there's only three monsters, Condor, Dingo, and Waterflan. You want to get at least one of each of them. And yeah, I want to get four Condors because there's a species creation you get for capturing a bunch of those bird type enemies. So. But yeah, at least get one of each of those, and it'll be totally worth it. It will not take very much time at all, because, well, the enemies are just that easy. 
But anyway, someone was telling me, H.C. Bailey, if you talk to Machen again, you can uh, hear more of the background to the story. So if you want to hear it, uh, well, here it is. If not, then I'm going to be capturing monsters next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Or you can just listen to Machen as I'm not going to talk over his glorious voice acting. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Rumors flew in Bevel of our sins' sudden appearance. They said that the people of Xanakan became the fate that they had called sin, and that the man responsible was none other than the summoner Yevin, ruler of Xanakan. Yes, the Lord Father of Lady Unaleska. On the eve of Xanakan's destruction, Lady Unaleska had fled to safety with her husband, Zeon. Later, the two used the final summoning to defeat Sin. Yet the people of Bevel still feared Yu Yevon. It was to quell his wrath that they revered him and first spread his teachings. And so were born the temples of Yevon. I suppose it's possible Unaleska had planned it that way from the start. A fair trade. She defeats Sin in exchange for her Lord Father's honor. Of course, there's no proof. No, the facts are lost in the mists of time. And who'd admit Yevon was an enemy of Bavel? You can bet the temples had a hand in covering that one up. And that, as they say, is that. Like to hear more? Let me tell you about the hymn of the faith. It was one Susanna Khan song, sung in defiance of Bavel. Of course, the Evan clergy of Bavel forbade it. Then, as these things often go, those who disliked Evan began to sing it. The Albed, for instance. The hymn of the faith became the symbol of defiance against Evan. Evan could do nothing but capitulate. They lifted the ban on the song and spread a new story. They said the hymn was a song sung to soothe the souls of the dead. And so saying, they took the song and made it scripture. That's why today, the hymn is sung all over Spear. You could say that though Xanakan is gone from this world, it lives on in the song. Ah, but look at the time. I've rambled on again. I do love stories, you see. Well, I owe you my gratitude for hearing this old scholar out. 